here with a CFM 56-3 turbofan engine and we'll just briefly talk about how the turbofan engine works. The first thing is this large fan disc at the front of the engine. That takes in air and a lot of the air goes past the core of the engine but some of it goes into the compressor section of the engine where it is compressed very very tightly and then it moves into the section of the engine where it is burned and that is our combustion section or the combustion chamber of the engine and as that air burns it expands and rapidly is directed over the turbine section of the engine which then continues to run the compressor at the front part of the engine. So our turbine uses the exhaust gas, compresses the air again at the front, it's all geared together, and as the air moves through the engine, it produces thrust. The other thing that happens as this air goes through the engine is some of it bypasses the core of the engine, and you can kind of see that here. A lot of the air is not going through the central part of the engine. It is being used though, um, as that fan disc spins, it kind of acts like a really large or propeller type of thing. It's not clearly a large propeller, but it's still spinning and generating a large amount of thrust. So despite the fact that a lot of the air goes around the actual core center of the engine, it still is part of the thrust producing process. A little thrust in a turbofan engine is produced by the exhaust at the back, but we also really use the power of that exhaust to run the turbine section as, it's as it goes over the turbine blades. It's turning the turbine blades really fast, but that turbine section is geared up here at the front to the compressor section. And so it's a continuous process where the intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust are all happening simultaneously in what's called the Brayton cycle. And that's really how a turbofan engine is used to produce thrust. And this engine is a great teaching tool since it's, you can see it's all been taken apart um, and we have a lot of areas we let our students look at this engine and identify the various parts of the engine. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more aviation learning videos.